Okay, the issue with this home, the customer looked in the access to the furnace and saw the hot water heater pan was full of water. So let's kind of get in there and see what the problem is. And I'll show you how they found it. This access door right here is in the utility room. This access door right here is to the furnace. And if you look to the right, it's hard to see, but you can see the water heater is right there. And you can see the pan, these houses, the pop-off valve and it sits in a pan. Both of those are plumb through the floor and go out from under the house. So even that pan down there, if it gets full of water, water will run out from under the house. So, and it does have water in there. So let me go, I'll leave that open so the light can help see. Let's go in here because the water heater access is in this, it's like the third bedroom. And the access panel is right there. You take those, there'll be quarter inch screws. Like I said, anywhere where there is screws, you can see how between the sheetrock is batten strips instead of finishing the sheetrock. That is sheetrock on the wall, and then it's got a vinyl covering over it. But this is called a batten house because between every piece of sheetrock, instead of being finished, it has a batten strip. So anywhere where there is screws instead of nails, it's access panel for plumbing. So right here, and they'll either be quarter inch screws or they'll be the screws that takes a square bit a square headed bit to take them out. This one's quarter inch. So we're gonna get that panel off there, move this stuff out, get the panel off, and uh, find out what the situation is, what the problem is with that water here. Cause this is a brand new house. My thought behind it is um, maybe a loose element, something like that, but we'll see. Let's get to it. And you back those screws out and set that panel out of the way. And you can see the water heater. So let me go ahead and finish taking those out, set that out of the way, and we'll come back and see what we find. All right, once you take that panel off, see, it just comes off when you take the screws off. And you can set it out of the way. You can see where I set it over there. Then you come in and it's got, this is the access panel to the elements. There's one there and there's an element cover there. Water is leaking out of this bottom one. I'm going to remove those two small Phillips screws and I'll show you. It's actually leaking out of the element itself. I've never seen that before. Replace the element. You have to take a water hose, hook it to the hot water heater drain, and run it outside the house. There's the drain. You turn it counterclockwise, get the water flowing, and drain it out. Now we're going to get it ready to remove this element. We'll get the tool, unhook the wires, and get it going. Okay, here's what I wanted to show you. Now that we've located that water is actually coming out of that lower access panel to that water heater, the next thing you want to do is you go find the panel box, the breaker box, which in a lot of these houses, it's in the laundry room, utility room, but not all of them. So you have to find it. Once you find it, you can look on the door and you can see right there, this one says, 18 and 20. No, 16 and 18. And then come down here to the breaker box itself. And most of them have this right here so that you'll know not to turn them on before the water heater gets full of water. More than likely, that's what happened on this home. The power got turned on. This breaker was on before the water heater got full of water and it burned up the element. So Always make sure you turn the breaker off and then check it at the water heater to make sure on that element that you have no power. And then when you do that, always in the laundry room of these houses where the washer and dryer hooks up, you see where the washer and dryer hooks up, you have a valve there. That's the main water shutoff. It comes out of the ground through this before it goes anywhere that has anything to do with these homes. That is on. That is off. Make sure you have the water off. 
and then you can go back to the water heater, hook your water hose up, route it through where it goes outside, and you can turn the, in the video, you see where you hook it up. I'll show you where you hook it up. Turn that counterclockwise and it'll start draining. Drain, and if you're up at the top of the water heater, kind of pop up that pop-off valve and it'll drain that water heater. When that water heater is fully drained, then you can remove the element and change it out. I've already took the wires off. You see a red and a black wire. See where it was leaking through the element. You can take this special socket thing right here and put it on there. It fits the element. And then you stick a screwdriver in that hole and loosen it up and take the element out. So I'm going to put a new element in there and fix that leak and wire it back up. Okay, you can see now I've got the new element in there. Not leaking. I've got the water turned back on. The water heater is full. And remember, you're filling the water heater up go throughout the house on every faucet tub shower turn the hot water side on so that it, as it fills the water heater up it pushes all the air out of the lines just remember to do that now let's get it wired up test it out and now i have it wired up see the black one on one side the red one on the other then you've got this little plastic piece that goes up in there that helps helps protect the electrical stuff from everything. The little plastic piece snaps on there. So it comes a pain to get on there. Then you got these little foam sponges that go up in there. you can see I put the panel back on it's back on secure like it should be before I did this I turned the water on to the water heater you know I opened all the valves you, you go to every sink every tub open all the hot water valves and let it as it pushes air out of the hot water heater it pushes it out of the lines when you know the water heater is full it's when all the lines all the faucets in the sinks the water starts coming out of the hot water side with no air bubbles or anything like that, just solid flow of water. Cut them all off. And I've already done that. And at this point, I'm ready to go back to the laundry room or wherever the fuse panel box might be and turn the power onto it. Then wait 15 to 30 minutes, turn your water on, let it run for a little while, you'll feel it start getting hot. I've already done all that here. Hot water is fine. No leaks. So we're good to go. That's going to be it for this video. Hopefully I'll get to do some more videos in the future. And I hope that you found something in this video that might help you out. If you have any questions or anything, please drop comments. And I will try to answer them as soon as I can. Thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.